In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can add a password or a PIN number to your app or website uh, to make sure that only people that you want to have access to the app uh, get access. So um, just here, I've created a really basic website that says my super secret stuff. And let's just pretend that I've got some really juicy stuff here uh, that I wanna lock off. Now I've created the app and I've got my domain over here. Um, and if I click it, secrets.fluoro.site, you can see that anyone that visits the website can get access to my super secret stuff. Now, that's obviously not ideal. So let's go back to our builder over here. I'm gonna click the three dots next to the application and click edit application. And on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose the authentication tab. And here, uh, I have a few different options. I'm gonna click require access pin number. And I'll just put in a pin number of one, two, three, four for now. Hit save. And now if we go to our website and we hit refresh, you'll see it won't let us to the secret page. We have to actually type in one, two, three, four uh, to be able to get access to it. And once we've done that, bang, there we go, the access. Uh, that's really handy if you just wanna lock off something like a check-in station or maybe just a, a page that you don't want everyone to have to have an email address and a password or maybe your people uh, forget their password all the time, something like that. Um, so you can make it really simple, just add a pin number and then it'll require people to have to put that pin number in to get access to the content. Now, the next option, uh, if we go back to the builder, I'm going to click domains, click edit application, and I'm going to go to authentication. Over here, I can turn that off and turn on require login. Now, what this will do is it means that it, someone have to, has to actually have a Fluoro username and password um, to sign in. Um, You'll also notice as I click this, there's two other options that pop up. One is lock account and one, the other is lock role. And so uh, almost always you'll wanna click this lock account option. Uh, what that means is that rather than just any Fluoro user being able to sign in here, uh, you wanna click this because you only want your Fluoro users to be able to sign in here. Um, now that's almost always the case for most people. Uh, the, the lock roll option um, is another feature which you can lock uh, specifically only people with particular roles or access passes get access to this app. Um, it's not often used, but if you really want tighter control, you can use that too. We'll probably go into that in another video. Um, but I'm just gonna click require login and lock account, and I'm gonna hit save. And again, now if I go to the website, it's gonna say, hey man, you can't get access to this you have to actually sign in. So um, I'm gonna sign in using my Fluoro username and password. And once I've signed in, uh, I'll have access to the super secret stuff. Now the other advantage to this is because Fluoro actually knows who the user is now that they've signed in, uh, if we go back to the builder, we can do things uh, like uh, maybe put a, um, like a component that says hi to the username that's signed in. Um, we can also uh, rely on um, different blocks showing and hiding based on, or loading different content based on the user, all of that kind of stuff. So I'm just gonna hit save and publish over here. And if we go over here and reload, uh, it's actually gonna say hi Cade because it actually knows the user that I am. So I've logged in, we can do all those nice things where people could update their own details or um, all kinds of other stuff. Uh, so uh, in addition to this, uh, those are two really basic ways where you can just edit the application and just turn on, you know, that you need them to sign in. Um, there are another couple of different options. One is you could have the website, uh, I think this is shown in another video, you can have the website where it's, it's a public website, people get access to the content, and then when they sign in, they get access to more content. Um, to do that, you would use the public uh, I'm not sure what's called it. Is it the sign up or login um, managed user sign up? So you can actually add this, and you can have a register page and a login page, so that people have to actually you know sign up on the site, and you can design it and customize it. Um, but yeah, that's shown in other videos. So uh, yeah, we'll leave it at that, and hopefully that's helpful for you.